Oh look! There's a new Rhythm Heaven Rockets level! Or launch party! I mean, they're called Rhythm Rockets, but like, the launch party also my flow's at 100, it's pretty great. Uh, we, uh, 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 this joke, this gag is going on too long. Hello everybody, this is Chris Master 4, and welcome back to Let's Play Rhythm Heaven Fever. In the last episode, we completed the fifth column. In this episode, we're gonna do launch party in the sixth column. Boom! Countdown to launch, or rather, countdown to launches. Quite a few of them, in fact. This is one of my favorite rhythm games. This is one of my favorites, and you'll see why. It's pretty great. Um, so, welcome aboard the space station. And the the just this whole game is really great. Like this particular one, I think it's my favorite. It's one of my favorites at the very least. Your job here will be to help us launch the rockets. Just hit A. So there's no B. So it's just A. So hit A when the counter reaches zero. So this one is literally gives you the beats. Three, two, one. Three, two, one, go! That one literally gives you the beats. And now prepare for every single other beat to have every single other rocket to have the same thing. There's three other rockets and they all have the exact same beat. Don't let their rhythm fool you. It's two beats instead of three. And that's a that's a party popper. That was great. Next one is a bell. Yeah, I know. Don't worry about it. I'll get to it later. Bravo. And this is the last one. Bowling pin. They all have the same rhythm. Just different ways of expressing it, expressing it to fool you. Especially that one. I wouldn't say it's the hardest, but you just gotta pay attention and then you get it. And now, ready, get ready for one of my favorite songs in this game. Good luck. We have launch. I love that one. It's so, oh my god, it's so epic and grand for a random rhythm game. It's just so epic. I love it. Mission Control level. We made contact. And is the next one I think it is? Yeah, it's Donk Donk. Um, no, there's no butts in this game. This one's hard to explain. Just focus on switching between two rhythms. That is true. You're switching between you're switching between uh, a swing beat and a triplet beat. Don't believe me? Look at the freaking uh, tutorial. Let's get ready to do that thing we do. Let's warm up before we go. No injuries, please. It's also one of the weirdest games is it literally makes no sense as to what they're doing. We're saying time with the signal. It's kind of like a swing, but you're playing like the offbeat of the swing. 
And then the next one is a triplet. Which is basically you hit three within the same beat. So one, da, 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 da. and then you're gonna hear donk donk, and then he's gonna switch between the swing beat to the triplet. And one, if you hear dit dit do, then he switches one, back. Two, three, four. Donk, donk. So yeah, welcome to this game. This one's one of the weirdest, I will say. Let's go do that thing we do. They don't even know. Get ready for weirdness! Bam! Yeah, you ever you, did you get that game? Did you get why the tuning forks were hitting uh, were hitting each other on top of a blimp with a squid underneath it? You don't get it? Well, that's Japan for ya. Regardless, we got a superb. So that's pretty great. Nothing can stop us now. With a 3D look at the tuning forks. Uh. Eh, yay! It's Bossa Nova. Not the worst one. Let's do it. People have played a lot of corner volleyball and the realize it's also the yeah, my slurring. Anyway, <laughs> Bossa Nova is a game where it revolves around two set rhythms that's playing at all times and it actually switches between which rhythm you play, but two rhythms are always playing at all times. Why hello there. Shall we practice our bumping skills together? Trust me, there's gonna be a lot of twerking in this piece, I tell you what. I don't even know what I one, said. Anyway, two, you just press A in this one. one. Two, three, four. Welcome to the, the rhythms. Ba boom, ba boom, ba boom, ba boom, ba boom, ba boom. So yeah. The rhythm that the guy's playing and the rhythm that the girl's playing are pl are both different rhythms. One is going one and go and go and like all that, uh, and the other one is going da 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 da, and then the game's gonna switch between the two. And that's what happens when he switches. One, two. And it's gonna switch one, between each two, other a lot three, in the game, four. like this. I think we got it. Because basically Nexus is going to tell us how to switch between the two, which you can see in the game. So, yeah. And this is one of the longer minigames, too. One, two, three, four. And weirdly arousing. Not to me, but, like, I mean, that's not normal talking, as far as I remember.
Great bumping. You don't miss a trick. Who's throwing these sheets at us anyway? You should go pro. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh my god, tips to the volley girl. Nice bumping technique and the switching was no problem for you. So much butt bumping, man. But they're the perfect couple because one's a Pikmin and the other one's another Pikmin. It's very round looking. And now let's in come one of the weirdest and worst mini games, but not actually my least favorite mini game. Love rap. Cool. Let's do it. We're playing with hip hop now. These aren't the rap men from the from the first game. Yo, Kutani Maska. <clears throat> no, this is not that nonsense. We're rapping with clown people. So many of the clown people. So this one is not really rhythm. I mean, kind of is. You're basically repeating what she says, the beat after she finishes it. And I don't think the game does a good job explaining this one. I will fault it for that. There's not a lot of really good explanation for this one. You just you just press A the moment she finishes her line. This is into you, into you, like that beat after, like one, two, go, like all that stuff. It's not hard. It's just you gotta really, you gotta figure out what it's doing. And I was able to figure it out pretty quickly, but seeing other people do it and not know how to do it, it's very, very frustrating to see. Not for their own fault. It's just because you know it's not easy to get initially because they don't really teach it to you that well. Yeah, that's basically it. There's four different beats. There's the regular beat, which is into you, into you. There's one that's faux show, crazy into you, and all about you. So, it's because it's a love rap. <laughs> so let's get through those. Try something else. This, uh, crazy into you. 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 So okay, so the beat for that is crazy into you. Crazy into you. Like it's it's like I think it's like da 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 da. Like it's on the and I believe, and then faux show, which is just almost immediate. It's like half a beat. Also, not that I'm, not that I really, you know, care about the guy on the right's voice, but I wish it would be just as deep as the other guy, because the other guy's like, into you, faux show, crazy into you, and the other guy's, Faux show! Crazy into you! Like, it's, it's, <laughs> it's not really something a really good rapper would have as a voice. Just saying. But uh, we, we still got one more beat. 
All about you. 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 The weirdest one. All about you. 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 It's like uh, I don't know. It's not. It's not a great mini game. It's pretty good, and the music is probably what makes it up there as pretty good. But like the way that it conveys the information is not great. But let's go with it anyway. We got. We got. We got to roll with the punches. Take what we're given and throw it out. Into you. Into you. Oh yeah, if you miss it, it's auto tunes, which is the funniest part. Yeah, and this one they never teach you about, but into you. Into you. it's it's uh, weird. Into you. Into you. Into you. Into you. Oh, hi, barista. What are you doing in there? <laughs> what are you doing in there? Yeah, I did well. Whatever. It's not. It's not the best music. It's not the best rhythm game. Could be better. Could convey itself better. Could have less derp faces than what's going up on the screen right now. It's, it's all pretty great. <clears throat> anyway, Remix 6. This one has a clown theme. Even though, and I don't know if it's really spoilery, but the next re Remix has a space theme. Which, you know, would work better in this situation because Two of the three rhythm games take place in space. What's whatever? Let's go. Let's do this one. I think the music in this one's pretty okay. Like it's not bad, but I mean, there's better. Oh yeah, freaking Gamzy Macara look like over here. <laughs> nice when you actually you have it end at the right place 
I, it, it's, it's good music. Just outside of the whole first half, which involves rhythm, which involves love rap. But our next episode, we're gonna get treated to my least favorite of the rhythm games. And column seven, tap troop. See you guys. Next time. Mm. Mm. Yeah, edgy. Mm. Yeah. Mm.